Hey, what is going on guys? It's Brad Fusion here, and today I'm playing some more Space Engineers, and today I'm showing a few things. I actually wasn't going to do a video today, but because I was building something, I never actually got around to finishing it, but I thought I might as well show you guys my progress thus far, and a few modifications I made to the ships that I showed you yesterday, which is the drones here. So, yesterday I showed you guys this little guy here, which had the... Two chain guns, two rocket pods, and barely any armor. Now I have modified this slightly to have a another gyro here instead of armor blocks because the gyro actually helps stabilize the guns a little better. That that's what the kickback. That, well, that's a problem I had with the kickback was that it was actually very hard to manage. But with a few more gyros, it's actually not too bad. So with that ship, it, like I said yesterday, it's extremely mobile, extremely nimble, but like I said, it lacks the armor. Now I've created two other variants here. This is a slightly armored variant, and here is a completely armored variant. Now, the weights do differentiate quite a lot between the three. So in this one, it's four point, sorry, four uh, four tons basically, or four thousand kilograms. I'll get into this one, and this is wait for it to update. Five point nine uh, thousand kilograms, and this one is about seven, I believe. 7.3 so obviously with a little bit more weight comes a little bit of like you like a little bit more agility but you can maybe take a punch now the reason why I don't really like the armored variants is simply put because if you're gonna if you're gonna get hit <laughs> your ship is most likely gonna get taken out and you're gonna die so the armor kind of is not really necessary I'd rather send out this because like I said if you're gonna get hit the ship's gonna get destroyed so you might as well keep it light and less armored, but I guess you can have armor if you want it to look kind of cool, or if you want to color it, whatever, you can have armor. So this one has armor underneath here and armor all around the back and on the top. This one here has armor all around the bottom. It's basically just missing the top section, which adds quite a few blocks. And like I said, there's about two ton difference between each of these. So I'll show you guys the heaviest one, just just show you the guys the comparison between the extremely fast one and the slightly heavier. Now, like I said, it is still quick. It doesn't pick up maximum speed as quickly. I will try to fly to maximum speed. Now you guys can see it slowly catching up. And come on, almost there, almost there, almost there. And we're there. So with this being pretty much double the weight of the original one, or the one without armor, it does take about twice as long to reach maximum speed as you would expect. But it, it is, like I said, in its own right still still pretty quickly. I don't know why it is, whenever I go to start recording, I get something in the back of my throat, so I start coughing, so if I cough throughout this, I apologize. I can just feel something back there, it's like really tickly and annoying. So yeah, um, this one here, like I said, is armored, but it is a little bit harder to uh, maneuver around and hard to get to top speed. As with this little zippy thing, this little amazing thing can get up to max speed in next to no time, like already and that uh, max speed so yeah now uh, twice as quickly max speed and then i want you guys the ship i'm working on for these guys so let me go back over here and stop god that stops a lot quicker than i expected it to there we go i'll just park these here because i left them here for the sake of it so i want to show you this kind of thing this is this is something i only just started working on a few hours ago which is why i didn't end up recording because i didn't get enough time to until almost 4 a.m i think it is uh, 4.45am, so I've probably got another hour of silence, so I thought I might as well record now whilst it's still dark and quiet. So, the top part's not finished. Actually, a lot of it's not finished, clearly. Uh, there's a ton of reactors along here. I thought I might as well stick reactors in places you can't see, just so it's a little bit better. But here is the main feature of this ship, and this is... Well, it contains all the drop pods, all the um, drones, sorry. So, all along this wall here, each side has eight Oh god, I wish I could get rid of that. Do I have a drink? I don't have a drink. No, I have no drinks. Anyway, each side has eight of these. I think they're all locked in. Yeah, they're all locked in. Okay, so eight pods, uh, eight holes. So you can have 16 total in this ship. Obviously, you can extend it out as far as you want, but I'm going to stop it about here and maybe build a front of the ship here. But that, that's the basics for down here. They have... Sorry, I have... Uh, three reflector lights, these are all set to red, so if a combat situation comes up, I can turn on all the lights to let all the pilots know to get into the ships and to fly out. 
this isn't going to stay here. This is just here because I was need I needed gravity to walk around. So this is I, I like building staircases, even though I could probably have a ladder and it would be a lot quicker. And I'm thinking about maybe having a ladder on along the sides here just to make it so if there's ever actually a situation where the pilots need to really really hurry up. They can go straight down the ladders and into their ships and out. But we'll follow the staircases up upstairs because it looks all pretty. You have upstairs, which leads you to the top, and if you go through here. On either side you have a medical bay, which treats the injured pilots, so if they ever get injured and manage to make it back, they'll, you know, people will take them up the stairs here, or... If there's only elevators, that would be amazing. But, no, the, the stairs or ramps, they can just carry them up here, and then get them into the stations where they can be treated for their wounds. Or they can be put on these, um, <clears throat> beds, if you call them beds. And they can, you know, wait till they get to get till they get treated. So there's that. That's basics of uh, what's down here. And obviously that leads to the room downstairs. And so we'll go upstairs, and that's it. <laughs> uh, like I, it took me a while to kind of do that part there, the back part, try to make it all kind of fit and to get the staircase the right way and to put the rooms where I wanted it. And the game looks amazing. I'm still running it on high settings. I'll show you guys that right now. Uh, video, obviously I'm running a lower resolution so I can record at this. Um, V-Sync's on because it keeps it nice and smooth, but it's running on high, because normally I run it on normal, but I decided to run high extreme, it's just not going to work for me, I don't want to do that. But we'll go cancel. So that's why everything looks all kind of cool and bloomy and really soft, it looks really really nice. But it does tax a little bit on the FPS. Anyway, so that's, this part here, like I said, took forever. But once I got the staircase based out, I had this space here, so I thought, I might as well fill it up with something. I was going to have like kind of a waiting room for the pilots, but I thought maybe a medical bay would be best suited for here, just in case something happens and they really need to uh, heal themselves up. So there's that. And upstairs will be... I think this will mainly be the bridge, and there might be something else here. Maybe a few more control panels, or... I don't know. Like I said, I haven't really finished this yet. I don't know how I'm going to go with it. I might stick some more on the front here. And obviously I'll need thrusters. I didn't even show you guys the underneath yet. The underneath is something I was working on. It looks really weird. But I thought it looked kind of cool at the same time. Because underneath you can see obviously where all the drop pods come out. And it is kind of armoured. So like from the side view. The enemies won't notice you have drop pods. They won't see that. They'll see a weird looking design ship. And these don't need to be here. But I put them here for the sake of it. Just because they look kind of cool. But yeah, your drop pods are kind of tucked away in here so that they can deploy out without being seen. Oh, obviously they'll be seen when they come down the bottom here. And all along here is all these uh, bottom thrusters, which is the only thrusters I have on this right now, which I thought looks kind of cool. It was kind of weird upside down, but uh, that's not the point of it. And anyways, I'll end the video by taking a drop pod out of this, just so you guys get the feel of how it, how awesome it would be to be a pilot. So you can just imagine, let me go through a scenario here with my hut off, just because it looks a lot better. Oops, I got stuck. Okay, I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna uh, sound the alarm because let's just say we're flying into a fight or something or someone's tailing us. The pilot will be here and he'll be like, oh no, there's how much air smoke, blah 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 blah. Turn on all the lights, the warning lights go on, but okay, run down the stairs. I'm, I'm gonna fly because I'm lazy. This is just picture a pilot running all the way downstairs, he sees the lights, you know, he knows the shit's about to go down, so he gets inside his uh, ship. He'll press P to unlock, and he will fly out and engage the enemy however he wants. Obviously, I went out a bit funky then, but you get the idea. So that's the basics of how this ship functions and how everything else functions right now. Obviously, I can just fly in here because I'm lazy. But yeah, that, that's basically it. Um, like I said, I'll let you guys name the ship. I didn't really want to go with the whole... Because I noticed a lot of people were suggesting calling these the bees or uh, something similar to that, calling the main ship a hive. I was going to go with that kind of idea, which sounds really neat, but my friend's going with that stuff and he's already doing videos on it. That is ICBM Raptor 2. If you, His channel should be on my page, so if you guys want to check out his videos, you can. But I, I don't want to go with the Hive and Bees because he's doing that sort of thing with his ship, so I thought I might try to pick other names for these things. I do like drones, even though I have had a few people say drones are meant to be... Uh, unpiloted, but it's just a name I gave them. It's not uh, technically a drone because I know what drones mean. Uh, well, I mean, it would be nice if these were unpiloted. It would be cool if you could remote control ships. Maybe that's something that'll come in the future. But for now, I'll leave this off. You guys can name the ship whatever you want. Maybe try not to name it a hive 
and maybe not name these bees. Try, try to think of something cool, something awesome. Like, it doesn't have to match up or anything, but, you know, that would be kind of cool. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.